is Isaiah 26, verse 19 through 21, a picture of the rapture. At first glance, this passage seems to look like a uh, rapture event, sort of. But we need to rightly divide. We need to take a look at the context. We need to ask ourselves the who, what, when, where, how questions to find out what this passage is actually talking about here. So let's take a look at Isaiah 26, 19. I'll pull it up here. Isaiah 26, 19. And uh, like I said, the context is needed. Let's read uh, verses 19. Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in the dust, for thy dew is as the dew of the herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpass. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So, like I said, context and rightly dividing is key here. Is this before or after the age of grace? And in order to answer that question, we're going to go to Ephesians chapter 3. And we're going to look at what Paul has to say about this here. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of grace of God, which is given me to you, word, here we see the word dispensation the dispensation of grace this time when God dispensed this program to Paul the dispensation of grace is saying the same thing as the age of grace the time when God started this period known as the gospel of grace and he does this through Apostle Paul by revealing to Paul a mystery that was kept secret okay the mystery revealed to Paul that God kept something to himself from the very foundation of creation. The secret mystery was that the body of Christ would be created and this body would become fellow heirs with his son Christ Jesus. Now, because this was kept a secret by God, all the events that happen within and to the church, the body of Christ also had to be kept secret. For example, the rapture or the harpazo, the catching away of Jesus' body unto himself just before the seven year week of Daniel. A simple definition of the mystery is that the body of Christ would be created. All right? Moving on to verse 3 in Ephesians 3 3. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby. When ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Verse 5. Which in other ages. Okay. What other ages is he talking about? The ages before the age of grace. The time before Paul's gospel. The gospel of grace was formed. Okay. Was not, it was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and the prophets by the Spirit. Verse 6, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power, unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heaven, heavenly places 
might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he proposed proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord okay now let's take a look at a dispensation chart for a second and you can see throughout from the beginning I'm not going to go through this whole chart but we will go through this in a future video by the way okay we can see clearly that the rapture of the church was kept a secret and this secret was revealed to Paul first and Paul alone the person who revealed this secret to Paul was Jesus Christ himself Paul didn't hear about this mystery gospel from an angel Paul didn't stumble upon a cave on his way to Damascus and then find some scrolls inside that revealed something about the dispensation of grace the formation of the body of Christ that's not what happened here friends okay our Lord Jesus came to Paul personally to reveal this secret that he kept from the start of creation not one person not one angel not one fallen angel knew that this secret existed only God knew about it and if there's one person who can truly keep a secret it's God so with that in mind we look back at Isaiah 26 19 through 21 and we have to ask the question how did Isaiah know about the secret rapture how did he know and surely everyone who who's read the book of Isaiah knew exactly what Isaiah was talking about right they read Isaiah together in the temple on the Sabbath they all knew that Isaiah was talking about the second coming into the millennial reign of Christ Jesus the 1,000 year earthly kingdom that the Jewish body would inherit this has nothing to do with the body of Christ here my friends Isaiah is talking about the time that comes when the Jews will be hid in a secret place kept from the Antichrist and his army supernaturally protected during the Great Tribulation into the 1,000 years on earth to say that this scripture is about the rapture is to call someone a liar okay you'd be saying that God lied about keeping the mystery of the church and the rapture a secret you'd be calling Paul a liar for saying that what was revealed to him hadn't ever been revealed before so we'd have a huge problem here wouldn't we number one we know God cannot lie we know Paul didn't lie we know surely that what Jesus revealed to Paul wasn't a lie so the only alternative here is that people don't rightly divide and by doing so they get confused then they go out and confuse others and before you know it the birth of a false teaching takes place and in some cases the birth of a whole new denomination unfolds it's sad very sad but it's exactly what happens when people don't rightly divide God's Word and think the entire Bible is just one gospel to all people at all times so I ask you again is Isaiah 26 verse 19 through 21 a picture of the rapture no it's not a picture of the rapture and we just we've just gone over the for all the reasons why it's not it's a picture of the protected elect during the great tribulation going into the into the millennial reign of Christ Jesus the coming kingdom of heaven the kingdom on earth that was preached by John the Baptist and the twelve before the dispensation of grace was formed through Paul remember the age or dispensation before the age of grace or the dispensation of Paul's mystery gospel was the kingdom is at hand under the law the earthly kingdom the kingdom of heaven was there on earth and the Messiah was among them but because they killed their Messiah that age came to an end and a new dispensation the gospel of grace through Paul was started this secret gospel given to Paul the Apostle my hope is that this clears things up for many of you out there concerning the scripture and you you can see here why it's so important to rightly divide to verify scripture yourself and keep it in mind that there are two programs taking place there is the heavenly program for the body of Christ and the earthly program promised to the Jews their kingdom of heaven on earth we see this in Genesis 1 1 God created the heaven and the earth two programs but the specifics of the heavenly program was kept secret until 
the right time came along, the rejection of Jesus as their Messiah, and the conversion of Apostle Paul. My sincere hope is that you've seen how important rightly dividing is and how not rightly dividing can lead to confusion and false information. And most often than not, it leads to another denomination keeping everyone in the dark about God's word. Now, if you do not know Christ Jesus as your Savior today, then please, I beg you, consider the results of not knowing him as your Savior. It won't be pleasant, my dear friends. If you want to be sure that no matter what happens, that you'll be in heaven when the time comes, that you'll be caught up from the grips of the coming Antichrist and spared from taking part in the worst time ever to hit the earth, worse than Noah's flood, worse than any time in the future. It's going to be hell on earth and you do not want to be here for it. I promise you that. If you sincerely understand that you're on the wrong path, covered in your sins, and you sincerely want to change that path because you realize that you're dead in sin without Christ Jesus, then with sincere conviction, admit that you're, a lo you're lost in your sins and tell God that you want him to change you into the person that he wants you to be and that you sincerely believe and trust in Christ Jesus his good news the gospel and that he is God in the flesh that he did die and he did take your sins with him into death and he did on the third day rise from the grave alive and in absolute righteousness and now covers you with that righteousness making you forgiven of all sin and making you righteous in the sight of God covered by the righteousness of Christ Jesus his only begotten son believe and trust Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-5, Now I make known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received, in which also you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you, as of first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. If you believe this gospel and confess Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please tell me, send me a message, and let me know that you made this very important decision on today. And thank you very much for listening, folks. Peace and grace in Christ Jesus be unto you and your families, and I'll see you on my next video.